In this video, we're going to continue looking at the Wagtail CMS. Since Wagtail uses a page model, instead of using views, there has to be some overlap of similar functionality with page models as there are with views. With that in mind, we're going to actually take a look at three methods on the page model to give us a similar interface that we're used to with views. If we look at our current page in the browser, you can see we have our content, we have our for now and forever and our tweet from our model of, of our page that we did in the last wagtail video. If we look at our actual model for our home page, you can see we have our summary and our body. And then if we do a get context method, if we override that, pass it in a request and our args and quarks, this is actually what you can return extra context data with to the HTML templates. This is just like get context data in class-based views. What we'll do is we'll have the get context method. We'll call the super for it, passing in parameters that we need. And then we'll just set the dictionary key of data to some arbitrary dictionary that we want to do so that we can actually pass in some data to our template for us to use. And then finally, we return context. This is going to build out everything like you would normally do, just like in a class based view. If we open up our template and go to the bottom, we'll add a new div and then just output the data element that's in our context data. Open this up in our browser and refresh the page and we can see that we have our piece of data and some complex in our dictionary and just like we had in our model. Next we're going to look at the get templates method. So in order to start that off, we're going to rename our home underscore page.html template that we're used to to home.html. Then if we'll open up our model and we'll override the get template method, pass it in our parameters. We would normally just return self.template because that's what the model actually does. Instead, we're just going to return a hard code of home slash home.html for the location of our template. You can actually do any type of logic in here that you want, as long as you return the path to a template. If we look in our browser and just refresh the page, you see nothing changes. That means it actually worked. Finally, the last thing we'll look at is the serve method in our model. And this is the actual, this is the equivalent of when you would do a get or a post or some other verb for our view. This is actually what returns back our response object. In this case, we'll return a template response with the first parameter of a request. The second parameter is going to be our templates, calling our self.getTemplate. And then we're going to do our self.getContext to return context data back with the template response object, which is effectively a subclass of a Django HTTP response object that, that's needed to return data back to the user. If we refresh our browser, you'll see nothing actually changed. If we go back into our view again, and we do if not request.user is authenticated, so if it's a non-authenticated user, we want to raise a 404. If we refresh our browser at this point, you can see we have a 404 error. So with that, we have actually covered the three methods that emulate that you would have in a view. We have our get context, which you can return a dictionary of data. It can be anything you want. Again, it is exactly like the get context data in class-based views. We looked at the get templates which is similar to the method in class-based views of a similar name. And then finally, we looked at the serve method, which is where you return back the data that you need to return and any type of response that you want to return back. The serve method is actually what's used in the Wagtail core URL. Once it determines what page it wants to call, it ends up calling this serve method on the page model. So with that, I encourage you to explore these a little bit. These methods are good to fall back on when you're unfamiliar in what to do with Wagtail specifically. And you can lean on them until you figure out the proper way in Wagtail to do something. 